Comedic giant Kristen Johnston has a knack for landing those memorable roles on TV. From her Emmy Award winning turn on Third Rock from the Sun to her current TV land show, The Exes. Kristen is always ready to lend her voice to a powerful cause and has made peace with her addictions. And she chats with our Philip Block in this edition of Cause Celeb. In your new book, Guts, you talk about your life, your career, yep. your addiction to drugs. Yeah. But you don't get a lot into how you began to take control of your life again and how you got back to a reality of some kind. Well, I think I actually do. I mean, I just don't specifically say, I mean, I, it, the whole book is about that. It's yeah. about that moment, uh, not the moment, but the, you know, sort of four events that all, it's kind of like a perfect storm yeah. I talk about. But basically, uh, I think, you know, rehab stories are boring. You know, we've seen them, right? So uh, I sort of was like, look, I went to rehab, I got some turquoise necklaces, let's move on. <laughs> and, but, but also what I did learn there is I have to start seeing myself through my own eyes and not everybody else's. And so that's what I've really started to do. And my God, I'm attractive. <laughs> You're a beauty. I really wrote the book with, the, my main goal is, well, I had two goals. The first one was to write the book I needed when I was struggling. And I just never read truth. I would read great books, but I just didn't, ooh, somebody going, this is what happened. Well, yours is very true. There is it's bits of true. bile in there. And I mean, you really yeah. get into it. And, and it's I mean, funny. Because it's it, all, it's my heart and soul. It's everything. I did not use voice. a ghostwriter. Yeah, and I your wrote voice. every it really word myself. has your voice in it. Thank you. And I have heard that voice in my <laughs> yeah, ears. <laughs> shut up. Um, but the other main reason that I wrote Guts, and this is even more important, is to uh, the shame of addiction. And I think the shame of addiction is what keeps us secretive. And I think the secretiveness is what ends up killing us. But that's, so that's what sort of led me to SLAM. SLAM stands for Sobriety, Learning, and Motivation. Here's what it is. SLAM is a board of New Yorkers, all with one goal in common, which is to help New York City get its very first sober high school, public. So um, there's none in New York? There's zero in New York City or state. There are over 35 across the United States. And here, the thing that's so shocking to me is, I don't know if you know this, but one in three American teens meet the medical criteria for addiction. And one in 70 American teens go to rehab. And with the education system being yeah. in such turmoil in New York, there's no funding, they're firing That's teachers. That's why we want, what we want is, I want it to be a public school, because I think it has to be. It has to be available to anyone. Anyone who wants it. The teenager has to want it, not their parents. They have to apply and come in, right? But we, I want to have it fully funded, or at least most of it. It's regular education and really good. I want my I want them to be able to go to Harvard if they want, or the military, or become a housewife. I mean, I don't I don't want, you know, it's not some you know slum school. Sorry, sorry to the slum people, <laughs> um, but it, it's I want it to be for anyone and everyone who wants it. Well, you found a really funny way of actually raising money for you. You've taken yeah. your humor, your cynicism, yeah. Yeah. and combined it with celebrity autobiography Which is tonight. my favorite show. I mean, I've been doing this show for years. So um, I, I literally, the first show they ever did in New York, I did. And I come all the, every time, because it's the, the most fun. I've read Mr. T, which is a great one. Um, Hedy Lamar, which the first line is, do you want to know what it is to be a star? <laughs> 